world-renowned trainer, a world-renowned fighter now trainer. I'd say still got a little bit to go as far as being world-renowned trainer. That's Mark Freeland. Big time management as well with Shelly Finkel behind Gwynch. And he didn't disappoint in the first round, Steve. 27 out of 51 shots landed as opposed to 7 to 48 for Childs. Childs opened this round up with a big hook, but Gwynn answered him. And Gwynn is trying to time that right hand again and again. That's going to be the punch that wins him this fight. With very attentive between rounds. Listening. Good eye contact with Mark Breland. Showing a lot of poise, I think, for a guy that's only in a second row fight. Looks very relaxed. And I'll tell you, what an advantage to be trained by Mark Breland. Quinn is a former three-time U.S. national amateur champ. Of course, Mark Breland was an amateur world champion, a gold medalist, a 950,000-time New York Golden Glove champ, and an Olympic gold medalist, and then a world champion. So great guy to have in Quinn's corner. Lennon Childs turning his back on Gwynn, not a good sign. Breathing very heavily from his mouth right now. Welcome to the pro, and a big right hand lands right on the chin. What is keeping Leonard Childs up right now? That was Gwynn's Sunday punch. Well, Childs hands it down, he's moving back. He's a lot different fighter than he was in the first minute of the first round. At this point, it might just be a matter of time. Oh, he hits a left-right combination as he's backed up into the corner. He's holding on big time now. Oh, and another right just lands. Childs, no legs underneath him whatsoever. That same dance he was faking in the first round, Steve, he's doing for real right now. New York changed its rules just a couple nine, of months ago. No more standing eight. Right, Ortega fight, about right, to stop the fight. Now. Here's one fight. Stop the fight. It's over. He said stop the fight to the referee. <laughs> a very impressive performance by Dominic Quinn. <laughs> Certainly took control the second half of the first round. And puts Childs away here in the second. He landed numerous big right hands, unanswered rights. I was very surprised that Child stood up and just as referee Mike Ortega was about to jump in and stop the fight, Childs went down. He beat the count. Mike Ortega asked him, could you continue? And he said very clearly, stop the fight. Dominic Quinn now. He'll improve the 2-0, and, oh, and that's two knockouts. And we take a look over there at Leonard Childs, who's now 0-1. Finds the pros a little tougher than the amateurs, where he was 20-0. and oh. We're going to take a look at action from the second round. And you take a look. It's that right hand. That was the right that was doing the damage all along. And for all intents and purposes, that Childs on Queer Street throughout the round. Take a look from another angle and watch that right hand. And you see, right there, Mike Ortega was about to jump in and stop the fight. Instead, had Childs wanted to continue, he would have been allowed to, but he said, I've had enough. Stop the fight. We're going to get the official time of the stoppage from our ring announcer, Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, 2 minutes, 31 seconds of the second round. The winner, by technical knockout and still undefeated, Dominic Bagboo Quinn. Quinn. All right, Dominic Quinn, again, he improves to 2-0, two, oh, two knockouts. Leonard Childs, he's going to lose his pro debut. He's 0-1. Oh what exactly does Dominic Quinn think about his performance? More importantly, what did Mark Breland his trainer think of his performance. They're up there with our Steve Farhood. We're going to find out. Take it away, Steve. Thank you, Arnie. Dominic, you look so relaxed in there. Was this fun for you? Yes, sir. I mean, I go in every fight just looking, you know, to go in and fight. Good fight and come out as long as I come out safely. That's my whole point. 
the boxing. Just come out safely. You pretty much dominated him from the start, but he was kind of playing, making it look like you weren't hurting him. Does that affect you at all, or did you just ignore that? No, so I ignored it. You got to stay calm and cool and collective. If I if I would have got in his game, then it probably would have been an ugly fight. As long as I stay in my game and keep doing what I'm doing, box and listen to my coach, you can't get me out of my game. I win the fight. It's got to mean so much to you to have a guy like Mark, who's been through it all, gold medalist, New York Golden Glove champ, world champ, in your corner. That's got to be tremendous for an amateur star like you. Yes, sir. Yes, it's very tremendous because, I mean, you can't go into a fight or you can't have a trainer that's never been in there and fought before. How am I going to be able to listen to a guy who never got in the ring? I can listen to him because I can relate to what he done done in the ring. Mark, what did Dominic do that you liked? What did he do that maybe you didn't like as much? Well, he worked on his jab. You know, he kept his composure at times, but the only thing I didn't like is that he didn't throw the right hand as much as I wanted him to throw it because the guy was right there. Uh, but, um, hey, he won the fight, but I thought that, he, you know, it's his second, well, it's the second pro fight. You know, he still got a little cobwebs there and there, but um, all that will be straightened out. Very quick, Gary Shaw, main event. You got the next heavyweight champion here? Absolutely, and I'm going to start paying him only on right hands when he throws them. <laughs> he knows that, but uh, Bad Boo, Dominic, uh, the nicest thing about him is he's a nice kid, and I really mean that. Dominic Quinn, sensational second win as a pro. Let's go back to Arnie downstairs. Thank you, Steven. The stats bore everything out. 56 of 95 landed in the fight by Gwen, 29 to... Limits present Showbox, the new generation. All belts are sanctioned by the Mississippi State Athletic Commission. Chairman, the Honorable Billy Lyons. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for eight rounds. 